Hi, welcome back to our Shadowrun Online Kickstarter campaign. And as you've seen, we've got a couple of new things happening. We've got a lot of updates, we've got a lot of interesting questions from you, and we're going to try and answer some of those about the gameplay right now. As of today, we will offer you a new model, an additional model to the one we already have, which is called the Campaign Server model. It's similar to Guild Wars, so you download the game once and then you can play it for as long as you like. But, like in the pen and paper RPG, we will offer you expansions that will contain new cities, new campaigns, new stories for you. You can play the game any way you want. Um, you can play it as a single player game, um, you just get a runner team um, that you can hire from the game, and you can play it alone. Um, you can play it with your friends. And if you don't have your friends online, you can also play it with complete strangers that you might get to know online. Um, of course, you can also play it as a PvP game. So, Shadowrun Online is basically divided into two parts. One is the cities, which we call hubs, where players meet and mingle, get their missions and a lot of other stuff happens. And the other is what we call the mission maps, the action layer, where your actual runs will take place. The city hubs are places where you meet other runners, um, where you chat, where you craft your stuff, where you heal up, and of course where you show off a bit, because in Shadowrun it's about style. Once you actually got a mission, you will go into legwork. Legwork missions are there for identifying your enemies, uh, for finding intel on the location that you're supposed to get to, for getting some advantages, maybe an edge, um, because you know knowledge is power. So legwork is all about finding out stuff, preparing your run. Legwork missions can also be dangerous. Um, if you're bribing the wrong ganger, if you have a random encounter on your way to the Orc Underground, that's all part of a legwork mission already. So, while legwork missions are already dangerous, the real danger becomes once you're actually on the run. A run can have many different goals. It's not just kill all or you know, kill that guy. Um, it's really part of the story already. So, in missions you will have to defuse a bomb, uh, sabotage a research center, um, find somebody who's been hidden away, um, fight a pack of ghouls, um, a lot of different things. The point here is, it's not your typical RPG MMO mission. So it's not kill five wolves and get their height, kill ten wolves and get their height, and kill a hundred wolves and get their height. So for example, your runners are hired to sabotage a secret research facility which is housing a newly created AI. The lab is cut off from the matrix, so you need to get close in order to be able to sabotage it. Your leg world told you of an old sewer entry that is connected to the lab facility. And better lag work would have told you that the sewer is filled with toxic sludge, which would have been good to know in advance. Unfortunately, as you arrive there, a gangway took place and security has sealed off the whole area. So you need to fight your way in and then find a way to actually get to the sewer access gate. Then, when you get in, you find another runner team has made it here before you, so now it's a race. Now, depending on whether you sabotage the research facility or not, this may in turn free the AI inside the facility and unlock new missions. And of course, the sabotage could be hurting EVO, who run the lab, and the stock market prices for EVO would fall live as your mission succeeds. So your success in a mission or your failure will affect the world. It will change corporation stock prices, it will unlock new campaign parts, and it will also affect the other runners. All the missions are part of a greater storyline, so it's not just a row of meaningless FedEx missions sending you from A to B. The first campaign will have a distinct plot involving corporations, AI, and a lot of scheming. But not only that, the collective actions of all the players will decide on how this story will unfold. And it will cross over into the pen and paper game. So whatever you do will actually write Shadowrun future. Even PvP is always going to be part of a greater storyline. It might decide on corporate stocks rising and falling, or it might decide on which gang controls the turf in the cities. Hell, you may even want to become one of those gangs by teaming up with other runners. Thank you for listening. In our next update, we want to explain a bit more about the micro-gameplay, how we transfer the Shadowrun pen and paper rules into Shadowrun Online, how the action system works, how the combat works. So all of this is going to be explained next time around. Thank you for supporting us and stay tuned.